check it. Did that come out okay? That's the best one of the 300 pictures I've taken look, myself look, today. Every girl in the picture is locked into her phone. So, every single one is dialed in. Welcome to parenting in 2015. <laughs> They're all just completely transfixed by the technology. It's a simple device that has made a huge impact. The selfie stick is spread right around the world, making headlines, even triggering somewhat of a backlash. Seeing people walk around with their heads buried in cell phones is something you'll likely witness every day. In China, the smartphone obsession is so abundant that there is now a designated lane for pedestrians who have a hard time removing their eyes from screens. It's just this thing, it's bad. And right. they, they don't look at people when they talk to them and they don't build the empathy. Be addicted to your cell phone and it can have serious effects. You know, the beauty of baseball is you can sit next to your neighbor and have a conversation, or you can just completely ignore them. Is the ability to just sit there, like this. That's being a person, right? Yes. No one can, they gotta, uh, you gotta check. Almost 20% of Americans are picking up a smartphone in the middle of an intimate moment with their romantic partner. Get out of town! The thing is, I, you need to build an ability to just be yourself and not be doing something. That's what the phones yes. are taking away. Yes. No, because they've got maybe 10 seconds to actually see their hero. And they're choosing to give that up to view him through a... Social media is actually a tool. It shouldn't be an obsession and it should uh, stay as a tool because it actually changes people's personality. It seems now that people have started to define their identity through their social media account, Facebook likes or Instagram likes on their profile pictures. It changes the way they feel about themselves. There are people selling selfie sticks. I think there is definitely an addiction with social media. Addiction is defined by not being able to put a certain substance down, which is exactly what we're experiencing with social media today. People gravitate towards social media a lot more. They get more attention from it, and it's easier than having a conversation with someone face to face. Looking at a screen is, unfortunately, it's a lot easier. In 2004, there were one million Facebook accounts. And now today, in 2015, there are 1.44 billion Facebook accounts. Over half of YouTube videos are viewed from mobile devices. Starbucks is mentioned 10 times every second on Twitter. There are over 200 million posts containing the hashtag selfie on Instagram. Smartphones and social media are a useful tool to stay connected with our friends. The very first smartphone, named the IBM Simon, was introduced in August 1994. This smartphone was the first of its kind, however it only sold 50,000 units. But today, you can buy hundreds of different types of smartphones from a wide variety of companies. Currently, the iPhone is the most popular selling smartphone and is the ninth best selling product of all time, selling over 516 million units since its release in 2007. People seem to be talking to each other less and communicating through their smartphones instead. It's as if smartphones are making people spectators rather than participants in their own lives. See for yourself. Next time you go out, whether you're on a bus or in the city centre, have a look around and count how many people are engrossed into their iPhone. It's got to that point now where social media isn't just a craze, um, it's now associated with many health problems. A few of these side effects include low self-esteem, which is also a major cause of anxiety. 
There is even a brand new study where investigators have identified an illness known as cyber sickness. This is caused by users staring at a small screen for too long, causing nausea similar to travel sickness. There is no doubt that the smartphone is here to stay, but where do we draw the line? Down Mayfield and now he's on Briggs and now it looks like he's uh, turning into another driveway here. We're going to kind of maneuver around and see if we can get another shot of him. But uh, yeah, he would definitely... Oh, right there. Oh, 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 o